so here we prepare food even for deities. It is such a beautiful thing. Can you tell us now how much we prepare, how many meals we prepare for deities? Three meals. Three meals. Speak a little louder. Three meals. You only prepare. We prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for deities. Then we're eating. Wow. Okay. And then what about bedtime and morning seva? Only tea and only ah. What do we prepare, ma? What do we offer during all this five times in the morning? Waking up. What what milk. do we offer today? Milk. Milk. milk and sweet. Milk and sweet. We prepare for the deities when we're waking them up. Okay. And after that, breakfast. Then we eat rice. Ten varieties of rice item. In the agama, you say. Only rice. Oh wow! So in the Agama, as per the scriptures, Sadashiva has revealed that to offer food for Sadashiva, we only offer grain rice. So we prepare ten different varieties of rice to offer to Sadashiva for breakfast, and that is the breakfast we have in the morning. Even we have only the whole thing is naivety. Yes. So you prepare so much and you bring the whole barrel to come and offer. And then what do we offer for lunch? Lunch also uh, rice. Milk. Oh, then for variety. deities, don't you don't give vegetables? No, no, only then variety of rice. Rice items, even for lunch. Lunch. Dinner and for dinner the same. Okay, deities is a little simple lifestyle. They only have. Yeah. As for Sadashiva offering, so for those who have deities and worshiping, this is the authentic way of offering naivedya for the deities. As for Sadashiva and the Agama, our scripture, the offering that we should give for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Of course, deity for us is not statue. Deity for us is a living energy. It's so energy infused living energy. That's why they have their own independent intelligence. That's the reason when we pray, our prayers come through. So this deity, so many times, we relate with them as our own Swamiji. And of course, Swamiji says, we are all in oneness. So the best and the right way to offer Naivedyam for deities are, is offering rice. Just rice and you can mix different flavors like a pepper and rice, so all different flavor of 10 variety of rice item you offer for day tea for bre breakfast lunch mm -hmm. and dinner yeah. very simple for main morning we really as i say real day tea is a living being for us so we whatever we do on a daily life we also offer the same yeah. so in the morning after putting them to bed to sleep we we have the meal the waking up ceremony waking the deities when we offer deities in on a monday from here Goshala milk. we offer milk from the cows that we raise here the cows from our own Goshala. it's not a patch or bought from the store this cows, we take care of them, we worship them, we do go puja to the cows and that milk, we take it fresh in the morning, bring it to Anamande, we boil it and add some sugar? Yeah. You, they're not sugar Jenny. really. We add either jaggery or the rock, kalkande, Kal the rock sugar. Because the white sugar that's in the store are processed. They are not healthy and it feeds into cancer cells. Also, they are non-vegetarian. They have to make it pure white. They put cow's bone, something to do with the cow's bone, to make it it looks white. So those who are disciples of Swamiji and Hindu, who are living Hindus and vegetarian vegans, do not use white sugar. We do not use white sugar in our anamande. No, we only use jaggery or the rock sugar the solid the white that will give nice white color so those are the things and uh, the rice itself is organic rice yes full organic rice all items 
So every single item in this Annamante, in Adi Kailasha of Nityananda Pita, we have everything 100% organic items. Every single thing, including the milk. So we offer milk to the deity in the morning with any other item of sweet food. Do we have the green and balls? Okay, we make some sweet item in the morning when we are operating them. Balls. Uh, like we make a dry fruit ball, like uh, maybe dates, or uh, peanut balls, or sesame seed, like like small ladoo you can make. And we offer milk and that sweet item when waking the deities up in the morning. Oh, nice! Like <laughs> we make some of the other items. Also item. In sleeping also, good milk. Same. Okay, same for warm milk. You yeah. give milk also. Fruits, no fruits. Banana. Banana, we can give. So, so, banana. Okay. so when we are waking up, as I mentioned, we offer some sweet item and warm milk, which is already sweetened. Okay, of course, we have a living God, Sadashiva, Swamiji. Sadashiva in the form of Swamiji, it's divine holiness. So, what Swamiji are like, we offer that. But now, we are following as per Agama. Agama says we should offer sweets and milk. So we offer that, wake them up, and then we go and worship. We do our prayers in the morning. During that morning puja, we offer breakfast. Breakfast for deities, we make again 10 different flavors of rice item. Uh, so you can do this at home for your deities too. After we offer, we start our day having that as our prasad. After you do your prayers, you offer the naivedya, you can have as a prasad for yourself. It gives a real life energy. Then followed by, we offer lunch. And lunch, ma, what are the things for deities? Again, same 10 different flavors, varieties of rice. And dinner, same thing. And bedtime, we put deities to bed. You offer again milk and or banana as the fruit item. Now ma, how much do you prepare for just for deities? Twenty variety of plates. Twenty different plates with ten items in each plate. That's like two hundred bowls. Yes. We have twenty day um, we have more than twenty deities, is it? But where does it go? Twenty but we don't have ten, twenty departments, do we? In Chiksaba, Calavera, I Wow, okay, very Okay, Okay, great. So, in the temple itself, in a uh, Nityananda Sadashiva uh, temple here, yeah. we offer to our main Garba Mandir. Nityananda. We always say the womb of this temple, right? Uh, to Nityanandeshwara, Nityanandeshwari there, right? And then we go and also bring for the under the Kalpataru tree. It's very, very it's deep. a living tree, living Kalpataru. And we have Venkateshwara. Nityananda Venkateshwara, uh, I think he's more than 10 feet tall. He's so high. Beautiful. Lord of Vishnu. Lord Exactly, literally like Venkateshwara and Tirupati. So grateful. So for him. And also Dakshinamurti. Dakshinamurti is the Adi Guru. The first form. Sadashiva took the form as a Guru. And so there it's a form. Four trays are now. Yes, temple alone, you know, four trays we take it. Munishwar. In the temple. Oh. Okay, there is also Munishwar, the form of Sadashiva who gives the protection, right? Munishwar. So in the temple in alone we take fifty different bones. Fifty different uh, items. So five trays, ten different flavors of rice on each tray. Great, five. And then we go to the accounts department thing. Welcome center deities. At the gate entrance, Kala Bhairava deity in the entrance. 
why the server, the 21 feet height Sadar Shiva Linga is there for healing, for initiation. So we offer even there 10 items. And Rajasabha, we have a Garba Mandir where Swamiji sits there, receives Father Puja, Pratiksha Father Puja. In that physical absence of Swamiji, we have this deity and Padukha. So we offer it there too. So 10. Chitsabha. And Chitsabha. Chitsabha is also where we have Swamiji's deity. Where kids normally read Akashic reading from there and they receive darshan from the deity in that. Laughing Temple. We have another place called Laughing Temple. That is the first place. Literally, I would say Swamiji built in a hut, a hut where he started teaching classes to his first circle of uh, disciples or sannyasis. Laughing Temple. Anything, anything you pray in all these parts, it just comes true. And of course, I love to go and see Swamiji in Laughing Temple and give him a hug. And um, laughing sacred arts, sacred other people. We offer. So in sacred arts, we have a place where we prepare our all authentic arts, whether silver work, stone work, deities making. We call it sacred arts, and we prepare everything there. Vishwakarma and Vishwakarma, Vishwakarma is where sacred arts. Two trays, you get three. Three trays. Wow, oh, and Swamiji, Vishwakarma and Gayatri. So there goes three. Vishwakarma is the whole thing. Vishwakarma is the power that makes things happen, right? Work, anything, even for construction, we worship Vishwakarma. So everything with our lifestyle, daily lifestyle, daily lifestyle in a daily tradition, Hinduism, we associate with God. So here we go. I have just covered about deities. I'm going to keep in during the next session how we serve sannyasis, where we serve special guests. So from there you can learn what is it, how is it Sadarshiva would like us to serve these beings, whether deities, sannyasis, if you have sannyasis visiting your home, your town, you know what to give them. Also guests, Swamiji's guests, Sadarshiva's guests, what do we serve? You can be part of this serving, this auspicious thing, feeding deities, the cosmic energy, feeding sannyasis. You can be welcome to be sponsor. Offer your donation to Anna Mandir here. See, your time and energy is what your money. So you can offer your time and money in the form of funds to support this Anna Mandir. We welcome you. You can reach me through this email. Or offer your donation and of course we will give our prayers and so that you be showered in more and more and more auspicious things in your life and also wealth so you can continue to support all this good work that's happening here. Thank you so much. Ma, anything else you want to tell? The space long only in the book all the time because the near thing space Great. So, I'd like to conclude that the space we carry in cooking is not just the food that we give, love. but the love that we carry is more important when coming to serving. How powerful it is. That is why it's so important in making sure what do you eat and where do you eat. You don't want to eat in hands of people who are so angry, grumpy, because that food becomes your blood. That is why it's very particular here, Swamiji wants sannyasis to cook. So they carry the healing energy, they carry the love. And I have to tell you, honestly, any time we come here, it's not the item they prepare. They have the space of giving, space of mother. It is so awesome. We can see extension of Swamiji, everyone who serves in the kitchen. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Nitya